Hi. Welcome back to Waxing On. It's Friday, going into the weekend, and just looking for something fun to listen to. And I was going through a stack of vinyl, and I came across an album I haven't listened to in ages. It came out in 1978, and it was London Town by McCartney. Now I'm just going to check this. It just says Wings. Now, this one was, I mean, he'd already released the big McCartney one. We had Ram. I'm not sure if this was before Wings Across America, but it was, to me, one of the last big ones that I heard a lot of airplay uh, for tunes from it. So it was getting a lot of radio play at this point because McCartney was still in the forefront. I'll give you some idea of what we got on here for tracks. First, let's look at who's playing on here. We've got... Uh, Paul McCartney, obviously, on what? Just about everything. Vocal, guitar, bass, keyboards, drums, percussion, violin, and recorder. Denny Lane doing guitar, bass, and recorder and percussion. we got Linda doing vocals, keyboards, and percussion. Jimmy McCulloch on guitars and percussion. And Joe English doing vocals, drums, percussion, and harmonica. The album was produced by McCartney. All of the tunes were either written or co-written by Paul. So very much the album he wanted to put out. And again, there was some catchy tunes on here. And like some of them did get some good airplay. Let's take a look. Uh, one of the big ones that I remember being a hit was With a Little Luck. A classic tune on there. Famous Groupies, uh, Deliver Your Children, Name and Address, Don't Let It Bring You Down, Morris Moose and the Grey Goose. And on the other side, London Town, great tune. A cafe on the left bank, I'm carrying children, children, girlfriend, and I've had enough. Some great tunes on here. I say a couple that made airplay. I listened to the album and I liked it enough. I went out and bought the music book for it just so I could play the tunes. It was just, it was just that good. I mean, McCartney at this point, the first album, we talked about it, a few, well, I guess a few weeks ago, a few months ago was just him trying out his recording equipment, just him playing all the instruments. At this point, he's added a few players. He hasn't got the full-blown wings going at this stage, but he's stretching out, doing some experimenting, finding some new stuff. Now, album, sure, that's the way to go. Picture of the main players here. We got Paul and Linda. Photography of the album, obviously Linda McCartney doing some of the photography, but there's also photographs included by a guy named Henry Deltz. And I don't know if that name sounds familiar to you or not, but if it doesn't, look it up. He was one of the classic photographers of the rock era. Uh, back in the late 60s, 70s, he was photographing everybody. And if you go on, I'm going to say Facebook, look up Henry Deltz, D-I- I think it's LTZ. Uh, let me see here. D-I-L-T-Z, correct. And pull up his page. You'll be amazed at some of the photos he's taken and some of the people he's photographed. And he's out doing uh, actual showings of his photographs and, you know, around the world right now. But just a, a great photographer and he really captured the essence of uh, the rock era. So we got that. We got words. Got a little uh, insert. Hey, got a big insert here. I'm going to try and stand up and show you this one. Something else that came with it, which happened a bit in the 70s. Remember, we saw it with Chicago. I'm not probably even going to get this all in, man. It's a gigantic poster. Came with the album. Well, we're going to get in there. There we go. We got Paul, Linda, and Denny. And on the other side of this, it's even more two-sided poster, not just a blank white page, but all kinds of great photographs. Yeah, don't get this with streaming, baby. This is what you get when you buy the hard copies. But you get the idea of what I'm looking at here. There's just some fantastic uh, photos here. It's a great little keepsake. I got the photos to enjoy. I've got the words to sing along with, and I got some great music spinning on the turntable. I mean, who could ask for more? And again, McCartney, I enjoy all the Beatles. I enjoy what 
Ringo puts out. I enjoyed what John Lennon put out. I liked what George Harrison did. We did an episode here on All Things Must Pass. Surprisingly, very few of you watch that, so go back and check it out. But I'd have to say, for me, the music of McCartney resonated the most. It was the most accessible. It was the most lighthearted and fun. It was really the music I went to more often. And I'll tell you the truth, it was either him or Ringo. That's who I most often would listen to at the time. And this one was, I don't want to say a forgotten about album, because it, it did turn out some hits, but it's not one a lot of people think of. We'll think of that first McCartney, we'll think of um, Wings Over America, Wings Across America, that album as being two of the classics, and Band on the Run, I mean, those kind of ones. But this is somewhere in between. Well worth checking out, some great hits, great package if you can get a hard copy. If you can't, stream it and enjoy that. It'll put a smile on your face for the weekend. So that's it for today. Paul McCartney rolling us into the weekend for some good times, everybody. Hope you enjoy it. I mean, I don't want to see summer's winding down second week of August, but the weather's changing out there. So get out there and enjoy yourself. We've got a few more weeks of summer left. Make the most of it. Till next week, take care. Stay safe. We'll talk to you then. And if you get a chance, check out Hot Wax. I'll try and do a couple more of those in there to let you know what I'm listening to on the days we're not doing this. And you might want to check those out. Basically, I'm talking about what's in my collection, what I've got in, taken in the car with me, what I happen to be listening to around the house. You can queue it up with me. We can both enjoy some excellent music from the last 30, 40 years. So check it out. Hot Wax with Dr. Kelly McCoy. And check out our regular show every week, Waxing On. Try and be back in the studio full time here now. Anyways, have a great weekend. Take care. We'll talk to you on Monday.